Hello there. Welcome back. I'm working on the sides of the guitar now. This is the electric build, of course. And uh, what I'm doing is basically leveling them out. If you look on YouTube and watch some of the guys that have big shops and they they run a router table and they run a big two inch tall router bit and their sides come out perfectly smooth when you use a template like I'm using or at least when I do it uh, I can't speak for everybody and you but when you use a template like I do it and use a bearing to follow that template and basically uh, take two or three passes at different depths to actually get or to actually route the sides of the body you end up with little lips or little ledges or little ridges on the sides and you also can end up with barren burn and you see uh, that black line in the middle that you'll see on the sides is bearing burn where the bearing got hot and burning burn the side of the guitar and so I could take a sander and sandpaper and probably sand most of this level and flat the sides are already 90 degrees they just got little imperfections in them that need to be taken out but I only have 220 grit sandpaper I don't have any 60 grit and uh, so what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, a few different rasps and files and I'm just using that to roughly smooth the sides I'm not looking for perfection of surface okay I'm just looking for 90 degrees to the top with no ridges or bumps or divots or anything like that in the side you see me feeling it with my hands uh, that's the best way to tell sometimes your eye won't see imperfections but your hands will now I'm using a little drum sander that goes into a drill for this part of it because the horns that's what that's called those are called there on the body they are the most difficult place to get to you can't really get to them with a sander uh, you have to sand them by hand with like uh, sanding sandpaper around dowels and all kind of stuff and I just find that uh, for this specific thing a little drum sander that's mounted on a hand drill works really well for this and it makes quick work of it because this can be miserable you can spend hours sanding on the horns the inside of the horns that's just how it is and anybody that's done this by hand like this knows you can spend hours doing that so the uh, sander is really a boon here and I I like using hand tools but I'm not stupid enough to believe that there isn't any place at all for power tools and so I will reluctantly drag one out if I have to if or if I think that it is advantageous to me and it's certainly an advantage to use this sander as opposed to sanding those horns the inside part of those horns for an hour or two to smooth everything out that's just not something I plan on doing this makes quick work of them now, I don't know if you can hear it but at the time that I'm recording the voiceover it's uh, nine o'clock at night this is fourth of July and there's fireworks people are uh, shooting off fireworks and stuff like that so if you're hearing that and it sounds like a war zone that's what's going on now I use in here in the waste I use that as well because it, it's a 
a, a curved uh, surface and it's just really easy to just take care of it with that. And now I'll take a palm sander or what we used to call jitterbug sander and I'll smooth everything out with 220 and make it fairly smooth and I'm not trying to remove every single scratch I just want them level and smooth right because there's going to be plenty of sanding on this guitar before everything is done so I don't need to sand forever here because I'm just going to come back and sand some more later anyway and I'm losing a little bit of the light but it is what it is you can see the lights good now this is the final result but you see there's no ridges or burning burn spots or anything like that on it now so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later